That's hilarious. Are you serious? Dude, that's sweet. How, uh, how are you, how is it paying off for you? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I will be as soon as we start, yeah. Right. 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 Totally. Okay, dude. Let's hit it. <laughs> no reason to shut up. I'm going to put an intro on this uh, later. So we're not gonna do anything fancy. We're we're good to go. We I'll just I'll edit it. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, don't worry. You're, you're safe. You're safe. We do it. If we do anything too stupid, we're, we can cut it all out. I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> yeah. See, I can't get it out of me. That's my problem. <laughs> Totally. There you go. There you go. All right. And and pronunciation of your last name is Clevering, right? I'm sorry, Clevenger. Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> All right. So you don't mind if I introduce you as the heterosexual male Sydney Clevenger. <laughs> Dude, don't, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> All right. Sanctuary cities, baby. <laughs> All right. We, we got it out of the system. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's do this. All right. Today, we are so excited to have as a guest on the show, Sydney Clevenger. And Sydney has a very unique background. He has come from the land of Kentucky and is currently living in Texas and California. Woo! And uh, he's got all sorts of fun stuff going on. A fellow entrepreneur with all sorts of crazy businesses and ideas that he's trying to run. But today he brings us some really awesome content, really awesome information. And I can't wait to dive into it. But Sydney, before we do, I want you just to give us a little brief intro about you, how you got here, and uh, and what is what would you say right now is the most exciting thing you've got going on in your life? Right. <laughs> right. So no one's going to leave once you hit 20 lights? <laughs> awesome.
Right. 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 <laughs> right. Right. I love it. I love it. I'm going to back you up one second because I, I want some clarity on this. So you went to school and you went to Florida and then you went and got your MBA. And then you started a business? Or how, did, how does this work? Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> sure. Sure. Right. Right. Cool. Gotcha. Right. I, I, I remember, I remember about two years ago, I got my, I got my uh, diploma, my college graduate certificate framed for the first time, just because it was, I found it sitting in a folder somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's needless to say, <laughs> right, oh, just go get it framed. <laughs> It's worth just getting them framed, just for fun. There you go. <laughs> well, admittedly, yeah, I was going to say, from 2010 moving forward, there's, you know, the world as we knew it prior to Y2K. I mean, it, Y2K seems almost like a distant past that, that I don't think we'll ever, ever hear much about again and pre-internet and all those stages of life where, where you and I have seen and experienced, it is just such a different animal today. And, and so one of the things that I've seen you do really, really well is you've got some solutions that address some of, the, um, some of my audience in a really big way. And that is people trying to figure out what they're gonna do with their life. People wanna own their own business. People wanna start their own business. One of the things that catches most startups and most, um, well, even, even long-term businesses is a proper strategy for how to get their message heard on the internet and how to get the messaging out there. And I know that you in particular have got some, some really incredible programs that help people kind of understand the dilemma, how to get over that hump and just kind of Explain to us what you put together and what you, how you learn this, and and kind of what makes you make makes your product awesome. Okay. 
Okay. Awesome. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. 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 Okay, so so your highest intention, I mean, really, you can't really mark it unless you have that highest intention, can you? <laughs> right, 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 right. 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 <laughs> Interesting. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right.
love it. Okay. I, that's, that's awesome to hear. You know, I, I, uh, I personally probably, um, you know, I've, I've had this process going on in my life where, you know, my entire existence has been all about just building businesses around things that I like to do. And, and I've been successful in being able to generate revenue in multiple different verticals that are completely, completely different. But there have been businesses that started that were literally spawned out of no great purpose other than, wouldn't it be cool to do something in the golf industry, for example? Right, and I've done it. And I've done it, but I had no greater, I had no mission in mind. And so because of that lack of vision of where I wanted to, why I was building that business, you know, I got bored with it and turned it off after three years. You know what I mean? I got distracted by a shiny object. And, and I guess I guess what I'm going back to with this is what you just emphasized was have that have that highest point of the mountain that you're actually aiming towards and make everything that you're doing point you towards that. Yeah, because, you know, I, I've, uh, you know, embarrassingly, I, I've had points in my entrepreneurial career where I have not even known what mountain I was on. I was just kind of climbing and totally, dude. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like way over here and I'm like, wait a second. That's not really where I want to be. <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally, totally. So, so you've kind of gone through this process. You, you and, and your wife are on this awesome mission right now. I know you've had some personal um, awakenings that have kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that are kind of, right, right, right. That it kind of brought you to that point where you're, you're trying to figure out where your mountain was and where you were trying to climb. And uh, I think it's just awesome. One of the things that, um, that I really think would be awesome for you to talk about, though, is in this quest to find your mountain and in your quest to, to help a million people do this thing, you know, you've come up with some hacks that I think are super, super effective in trying to um, get people to get their business moving, get them rolling. You know, and, and one of the things that I am constantly, you know, I've been asked to mentor at, at uh, some of the local universities and, and I'm also really excited. I've been working with a, a program called um, Warrior Rising, which is a group of, it's a group of veterans, uh, military vets who come back and they're done with their military service. They want to start a business. And and this is kind of one of my, my pet projects that I, I've absolutely fallen in love with recently and that is helping these military vets try to go through the motions of starting business and, and figuring out what their vision is and where they're going with it and stuff. And, um, but you've got some hacks that I think almost, no matter what your business model is, whether you're marketing B2C or B2B, you've got some really cool things that I think could help our audience and help me and probably help you. <laughs> Right. <laughs> cool. I'll put it, yeah, I'll put it in the show notes and I'll put a download link for it. Yep. Right. 
Right. Right. Right. Right. Right. Right. Right. Right. Right. Right. Right. Right, right. Right, right. Sure. Right. For sure. Right. 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 Dale, 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 Carne Dale Carnegie says that it's, it's the best. People's favorite word in any language is their own name. <laughs> right. No doubt. About it. I read that my junior year in high school. It changed my life. <laughs> Right. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I've given it, dude. Goofy, goofy side story. I'm not gonna be tangented too far on this, but get this. I gave that book to. I've given that book to two of my oldest sons. I've got a lot of kids, and my my. Uh, I've got a now 20 year old and I've got a seven, an 18 year old. I gave it to my, I gave it to both of them when they were about 16. Cause that's kind of the age where, you know, in my mind, that's where you start adulting a little bit and you start, you know, corresponding and, and having more relationships with adults. And, uh, and literally my, my 18 year old now got a job as a, as a busser at a restaurant, really nice restaurant. And, um, because of, the tips in Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, literally became the first, like all the servers got really frustrated because he was one of the only bussers who would get direct tips because he just would, he'd get to interact with people and call them by their first names and just, you know, all these little things to where he was getting direct tips past the servers to him as a busser. And uh, I just thought it was hilarious because those tips and those, key things like what you're saying to do in these hacks, they're universally true and no matter what culture you're in, they are universally accepted as, wow, this person actually 
just went to that level of calling me by my first name, which makes me feel really, really special. Right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. For sure. Love it. Yeah. Right. Right. Right, right. 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 <laughs> wow. Wow. Right. Right. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Right. Right. Gotcha. Right. 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 Love it. Nice. <laughs> Wow, love it. 
Love it. So, so one more time, go through the step. So first of all, okay. I love it. Gotcha. Right? Right? Right. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I love it. Right. Awesome. Right. Right. I love it. I love it. Right. Yeah. That is awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. And what would they be buying from you? What what types of uh, what types of virtual products have you have you created? And what type of uh, what do you think would be useful to the people that may be listening to this podcast today? Okay. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Awesome. I love it. I love it. No, that is so helpful. Now I'm going to take one kind of in closing. I, I wanted to, uh, I want to have you just talk briefly about 
prior to your first entrepreneurial experience, um, what was your biggest fear going into it? And did it end up being as fearful as you thought it would be? <laughs> right. 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 Sure. Sure. <laughs> right. Right. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Right. Right. Wow. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh-huh. Right. 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 Agreed. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that right? 
I have, I have not spent hardly any time ever doing that. And uh, you're probably right. Cool. Cool. Right. 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 Sure. Yeah. I love it. Right. I love it. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yep. Right. 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 Love it. I love it. Dude, that is some that is a very value loaded nugget for for almost any startup person. And uh, I I appreciate you diving into that. I mean that was that was supposed to be a quick final final question. I I loved every I loved every word you said. So I I totally, you know, synthesized what you said. No no dude, it was a it was a fantastic. I mean that's a that was almost a whole new messaging in and of itself that uh, I hope will provide some good value to those listening. And, uh, and listen, brother, I, I, I'm going to put links to everything you've talked about in the show notes. And uh, for those of you listening, I encourage you to go follow him. I, he has a YouTube channel. He's got uh, following on LinkedIn and Facebook extensively. Anything on Instagram? Right. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. I love it. Okay. Right. Awesome. OK.
okay? Wow. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, thanks again. And we look forward to, uh, we look forward to having these links and hopefully we get some traffic running to you and hopefully we've given people some added value bombs that will help them progress and move their business forward as well. All right, brother. Thanks again. We'll chat later. Bye-bye. All right. No, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just shoot me an email. Uh, what were you gonna do? <laughs> right. Exactly, exactly. Dude, no, you're good. Awesome. Awesome. For sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. Cool. I don't, I, I generally don't judge anybody until I've, you know, yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> awesome. Cool. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, no, I don't think I could ever have too many guests. Can you? I don't. Right. 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 Right, right. Right. Exactly, exactly. Right. Right, 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 right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I think it I think it brought some great value. I think it brought some great value. You bet. I appreciate you being on too. Yeah. I'm excited, dude. Okay. <laughs> awesome.
Cool. Cool. I love it. Totally. No, I love it. Awesome. No, dude, I totally appreciate it. I'll hit I'll hit you where I'm in I'll hit you when I'm in San Diego next. I I will likely be down there between Christmas and New Year's. So Right. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I bet you have. <laughs> Seriously, right? Cool. I love it. Okay, man. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.